Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. This is the part six video that I'm uh, I'm trying to uh, showcase or uh, I'm trying to show you how the uh, different type of operating models that is supported with uh, APs. And um, and this is the project that I created in Akahu. And I'll be using this project to explain the different different uh, radio operating models on uh, 9120 AP. Uh, in understanding RF series, uh, we already have uh, around five videos that we talked about uh, multiple things like uh, AP and uh, client uh, power level differences, um, the antenna types, internal antennas, mounting uh, models, and all those things. In this video, we are going to stick with the operating models. Uh, what are the different operating models available for uh, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz? And what are the combinations uh, that we can use it with uh, one access point in your network? The, with this project, I'm going to explain you the different radio operating models. And uh, let's get started. Before we get into simulation and all, let me try to explain uh, what I did here. So I'll go to one uh, AP and I'll show you the settings. So basically, I'm using uh, 9120i and the model is uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz one because I'm not using a 5 into 5 uh, model. The flexible radio model is not in use here. So I'm using uh, 9120i and uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as you can see here 11 dbm is the power level i used across this simulation wherever i enable radios those radios are functioning with 11 uh, dbm uh, power and uh, we already talk about uh, earp difference between um, 5 gigahertz and uh, 2.4 and uh, there is one dbi difference on uh, the antenna gain that we already discussed in previous video so you can refer that um, and uh, the other thing what I did is I uh, set up I set up each and every AP with the different different combinations. And as you can see here, this particular uh, AP is running on a band of B and channel is one. And you can see the same thing is reflecting here that um, the AP name is also uh, replaced with the relevant information. From the name itself, you'll be able to figure it out what is happening in the background and what kind of radio is functioning in the background. So this is the uh, B radio one, the 2.4 settings. I will show you another one in uh, 5 gigahertz. As you can see here, 2.4 gigahertz is off. And in 5 gigahertz, I kept um, uh, the channel and you can see the special streams uh, I selected as four, um, and uh, this is the uh, settings on uh, all the APs. All the APs are uh, having a setting of uh, special streams four, and that's how the entire um, entire simulation is going to happen. So here we are talking about 9120. 9120 can operate in uh, multiple models, and these are the models available for the AP. So when I say model, what are the capable uh, methods it can actually communicate to the client? As you can uh, see here, we have around 17 combinations. So when you are configuring it, uh, you will be configuring some of them and you will be allowing a client to take a call on that because you can enable uh, 160 channel width. And uh, if your client is coming with 20 megahertz uh, capability, it will come and join with 20 megahertz. Even if you have two radios, um, maybe you will get a legacy client, it will join with um, 2.4 gigahertz. So that's how it works in the background. So it's completely depends on the client capability. Uh, clients don't care do you have uh, AX support on uh, AP or not because it cares about the on capabilities. It will just work with on capability of that particular wireless chipset you have inside that uh, device. Everything is depends on the client. Uh, AP will just say, I'm capable of doing anything. And these are my capabilities. I can go up to 17 combinations, but you decide what you want to do. So that negotiation will happen and it will uh, come and join with that. Let me do one thing. Let me just uh, reset this zoom level so that you will be able to see this in proper way. It looks like this, this zoom level is not correct for um, seeing it in the video. So let me just resize it. So I, I resize this page uh, because uh, that zoom level was not that correct and it will be uh, not readable in your video when you are watching the video it will not be readable and uh, don't worry about the scale we are not talking about the scale or signal coverage and all those things i just want to show the uh, the basic differences between each and every uh, type of operation 
and uh, before we start i want to just talk about uh, the combinations as you can see here the name is reflecting this particular guy is operating with 2.4 gigahertz and 802.11b only this is b radio only settings and you can see this color coding uh, this color coding is blue because of the resolution you are playing this video or the way you are watching this video maybe you will not be able to figure out this color but um, you just consider this one as blue i, I believe it's blue and uh, second one i am running only g radio i hope you are able to read this name so as per this name this capability is uh, g radio only in 2.4 and you can see the color coding green for that so this color coding is not done by me uh, this is automatically done by akahu for identifying the radios easily and uh, here you can see this is uh, 11n in 2.4 11n and uh, it's 20 megahertz and the color is purple even i have confusion is it purple or uh, violet but yeah you can consider this one as purple color here uh, this one is working with uh, 2.4 gigahertz with 11n and uh, 40 megahertz you can see the at the rate 40 marking here so that means channel width is 40 megahertz so you can figure that out from here and when you place your mouse pointer you can also see the channel range on top it's taking from uh, channel 1 to 5. we already covered this channel bounding in another video you can refer to that okay so this is the second uh, the fourth ap then this one uh, as you know there is no 11 ac support on 2.4 gigahertz but when we talk about 11 ax we have that support so this is 11 ax um, and you can see that this particular one is uh, working with uh, channel number one and this one is again 2.4 gigahertz and ax ap with 40 megahertz and you can see that one at the rate 40 here and you can also see the uh, channels in use that is one to five these are the six model of operation on uh, 9120 for 2.4 gigahertz so this is we are not considering fri here i am stressing that point again but uh, when you are using 2.4 these are the six options you have in uh, 2.4 radio uh, now let's go into 5 gigahertz in 5 gigahertz this one actually works on uh, 5 gigahertz a radio only then it works on uh, 36 channel 36 okay uh, then this one this is a n and it works on uh, 36 uh, with uh, 20 megahertz then here you can see at the rate 40 again uh, this is a n 40 megahertz uh, it's using 36 and 40. now we will go to ac i think uh, we don't have to go to uh, each and every one and uh, find this one because it's already clearly visible here you can just follow that you can pause the video and see that i will uh, show the last this is self-explanatory so i don't want to go with each and every ap and do it okay the last ap this is 5 gigahertz ax in 160 megahertz and uh, you can see the uh, the channel range is starting from 36 to 64. so all the channels are used because you are using uh, 160 megahertz so i hope you understand the setup um, b radio is blue g radio is green n radio is purple or violet and this is ax radio that is like green kind of thing and uh, a radio is uh, uh, orange then uh, red is uh, ac then again light green kind of thing uh, that is that color is ax so that's how the akahu color coding for uh, each technology one more time let me go into the older scale so that you can see the radio separation in the signal strength view but again uh, we are not worried about the signal strength so let me just set the different scale i set the um, scale now then i'm going to uh, enable signal strength so uh, this is the signal strength uh, simulation page and i'm going to enable uh, all the access points here for simulation so as you can see here this is how the simulation looks like and uh, even though you have multiple combinations of uh, radio operating models and as you can see the signal strength is not different for uh, these radios there is only one difference that is 2.4 and 5 gigahertz because you have uh, 11 uh, dbm power level set on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and you can see uh, 2.4 is giving uh, more coverage than the 5 gigahertz so let me go into 2.4 only so as you can see here all these ap's that is uh, b radio g radio n radio with 20 megahertz n radio with 40 megahertz ax with 20 and ax with 40 all are working only on 2.4 because i selected only 2.4 here 
now i move to let me move to 5 gigahertz and you can see all these aps are functioning on 5 gigahertz and there is no difference on the coverage uh, the signal strength uh, based on the um, based on the model of operation okay so the, i just want to show that that's the only reason we are uh, we are in this page let me go to the uh, throughput simulation so let me just uh, go back to the previous scale right now we are in uh, throughput simulation uh, model this is the uh, one going to show the simulation for uh, throughput calculation and uh, i selected both the radios and i uh, opted an option with only selected access points i'm going to uh, choose uh, ap by ap and uh, showcase what is going to happen in the background in the throughput point of view and uh, i don't know what is the reason but when we when i select an ap uh, with 2.4 gigahertz only with b radio somehow i'm not getting any throughput output on this one i hope uh, akahu will figure that out now uh, let me go to the second one so this ap functions only with g radio so because of the scale you are getting everything is green and you can see this legend and it shows uh, green means is 32 mbps so this legend value is dynamic based on the ap that i am selecting this value will change and the color code will change in the background so the scale is not the right one i'm i'm telling this point again uh, the scale is not the right one i just want to show the uh, value just close to the ap i'm only interested on one thing that is going to come when i place my mouse pointer here so when i place the mouse pointer here it will it will give that uh, tooltip kind of thing that talks about the capability of that ap if i move my mouse pointer this black box will go so i don't want to do that so just follow with me the name is 2.4 gigahertz g radio then adapter leave it uh, that is not relevant here channel it's functioning on the channel one then rssi not relevant because the scale is not the correct one so i don't want to rely on that snr i'm not going to take that snr for now then nss uh, that is the special stream how many special streams are enabled for this ap that is only one then um, the uh, modulation this one is running the modulation of com 64 and mcs rate is not relevant because this is running on g radio only then uh, the data rate maximum it can support up to 54 mbps as you know this is kind of a half duplex kind of thing and uh, the maximum throughput we can expect is 30 mbps 30.5 mbps so that is what going to happen when you are getting a legacy client that is getting connected to a 9120 in your network so this is what going to happen with that guy and um, all other stuffs like multiple clients air times calculation and all those things will come into picture but in the perfect world this is what you are going to get if you have a single client and uh, 9120 ap in your network with g radio only now let me move to the next one we have a lot of aps to cover in this ap i selected uh, this ap then i'm going to place the mouse pointer here and you got that same values uh, for this one you can see the ap name that is uh, uh, 11n ap in 2.4 with 20 megahertz uh, um, channel width then uh, channel is uh, only one and um, nss uh, special streams it's using four so four special streams are in use then it's using um, com 64 that's the uh, modulation is used in the background tiers is uh, shown as 31 here i am trying to uh, showcase the values in graphical view if you want to uh, see the same values in data sheet that is available in data sheet you can follow this as you can see here b radio these are the uh, maximum throughput you can get and uh, all those things basically the data rate supported you have the entire list here you can refer this table in data sheet itself instead of uh, going through this entire video so it's completely up to you so there is a data sheet available for you to refer these values and you can follow that so coming back to our uh, simulation uh, so uh, in uh, 20 megahertz 11n the maximum data rate will be 289 mb and uh, your maximum throughput will be uh, 179 now let me select the next ap so this is uh, 2.4 11n 40 megahertz it's actually using channels from 1 to 5 these are the channels uh, used in the background to form that 40 megahertz so the channel from 1 to 5 are uh, are in use for uh, making that 40 megahertz uh, channel width uh, you can see the uh, special streams are four so i'm not going to repeat the uh, same thing going forward you can just read it i will select the ap and you can read it i'll just concentrate only on the data rate and the uh, maximum throughput in 2.4 
11 and 40 megahertz can go, go up to data rate of 600 MB and maximum throughput you can receive up to 269. Let me uh, go to the AXAP. So here, um, 2.4 gigahertz, AX at 20 megahertz, it can give up to uh, 289 uh, data rate. So these values are uh, similar to 11 and um, 20 megahertz. So let me go to the next one. Uh, next one is uh, 2.4 gigahertz AXAP with uh, 40 megahertz. Here you can see the data rate, uh, maximum data rate is 600 MB and uh, maximum throughput is 269. Now let's get into uh, 5 gigahertz air radio only. You know the answer. This is uh, similar to G radio, same things. Uh, 54 uh, Mbps is the data rate, and uh, 30 is the uh, throughput. You can get it, and it still uses uh, modulation of 64. So uh, next one is using um, again COM64, uh, and uh, the maximum data rate is uh, 260, and maximum throughput is 163. Let me go to AN uh, with 40 megahertz. As you can see here, uh, data rate is 540m and uh, the maximum throughput is 246. Let me go to the next one. This is, uh, we are starting the AST uh, from here. So when we talk about AST, this guy is using a different uh, modulation. So as you can see here, till now uh, with uh, AN, it was using 64, but here you can see the modulation is changing into uh, 256. And uh, the maximum data rate you can receive is, uh, 347 MB and the maximum throughput will be 280. Then let me go to 40 megahertz, 11 AC, 40 megahertz. The uh, modulation is same and the uh, data rate is 800, 800 MB and maximum throughput is 531. Then going into 80, AC in 80 megahertz, uh, same thing. Uh, you can see the number of channels are increasing. Uh, in 40, you are using two channels. Now you are using four channels. Then the data rate, you can go up to 1.7 gig. Maximum throughput, you can get up to 837. Uh, Here, uh, this is the maximum capability of 11 AC, the 160. It's actually doing channel bonding with eight channels. And uh, you can see uh, the data rate is gone into 3.4 gig. And the maximum throughput is 1.1 gig. So as you can see here, this guy is supports data rate of uh, 347 and maximum throughput of uh, uh, 280. Still, uh, COM256 is used in uh, AX. I think it can go up to 1024, but um, here the maximum simulation is happening with uh, uh, special streams of four. The throughput you are receiving on uh, 11 AC, 20 megahertz, throughput is 280. Then AX with 20 megahertz in the same 256 COM, you're getting uh, 347 and 280. So as I said, uh, 11 AC with 40 megahertz, uh, 11 AX with 40 megahertz is going to share the same uh, capabilities with four, uh, four special stream. And it will be same for 80 also. Let me just uh, show the last one. Uh, that is 160. So as you can see here, 160 AC is providing, you can uh, follow that name. The name is uh, 11 AC 160 megahertz. It's having all those eight channels. It's it's giving a data rate of 3.4 and 1.1 gig uh, in uh, 11 AC. Same is uh, applicable in 11 AX. So 11 AX is also having the same capability, 3.4 and 1.1 gig. So with this video, I just want to uh, showcase one thing that your AP will be capable of doing a number of things but it completely depends on your client. If you are having an AP with 11AX capability and if you have the end client coming with the B radio, then you are done with that network. So I know we didn't go on uh, too deep uh, into all these modulation, MCS rates and everything because uh, that is not something we can uh, showcase with a simulation point of view, but at least I think you got some point of view uh, on how these APs are functioning with the different, different uh, settings on your RRM or how you are setting or how you are configuring your AP in your network. And regulated domain all those things will come into picture these are the combinations came in my mind when i think about this particular video maybe there will be something missing maybe i uh, said something wrong uh, if you are finding something wrong if you are finding more useful information please put it on the comment so that it will be useful for others i hope this will help you to understand something 
that related to the radio operations on uh, api side see you in next video thank you for watching